Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Create a new composition, I will name it as timer. For this demonstration, I will keep time duration to just 6 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create a text layer. For this text. In source text, we will insert time expression. You need to copy this expression. Link for this expression is provided in the description. While pressing ALT key click on the stopwatch of source text. Now paste the expression here. You can see the preview. Here we will make few changes. For paragraph, set it to right text align. Now align text to center. If you want you can increase or decrease the size of the timer. Perfect. Here I will name this layer to timer. Now let's animate the timer layer. Now in animate, select tracking. Here we will set tracking amount to 100. Now in range selector, at start of the timer line, create keyframe for offset, now at 2 seconds. Change offset to, 100. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Now in advance, select randomize order to, on. Set random seed to, 30. Now add, property, character value. Set it to, 15. You can also add opacity and set it to 0. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this text layer. Here we will rename it to, text. Now for this text layer, we will remove the expression added to the source of text. Now let's insert the text to this empty layer. Adjust the position. You can see the preview. Select both the layer and position them to the center. Perfect. We will place this timer layer at near about 1 second. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as noise. Now in effects and preset, search for fractal noise. Add it to the noise layer. For noise, set noise type to blocks. Now set contrast to, 350. Set brightness to, minus 150. Set complexity to, 3. Now in transform, unlink uniform scaling, set scale width to, 430. Set scale height to, 10. Now at start of the timer line, Create keyframe for evolution. Now at end of the timer line. Set evolution to, 3. You can see the preview. Perfect. 
Now let's create duplicate of this fractal noise, for second noise layer, set contrast to, 200. Set brightness to, minus 100. Set complexity to, 2. Now in transform, set scale width to, 100. Set height to, 20. Now let's change blending mode to, screen. Perfect. Now for this noise, in effects and preset, search for fast box blur. Add it to the noise layer. Set blur radius to, 2. Blur dimension to, horizontal, select repeat edge pixels. Now in effects and preset, search for posterize, add it to the noise layer. Set level to, 3. You can see the preview. Now let's pre-compose this layer. Name it as map. Select move all attribute into new composition. Now hide the map composition. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, search for Venetian blinds. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now for Venetian blinds, set transition completion to 25%. Set width to 5. Now in effects and preset, search for glow. Add it to the adjustment layer. For glow, set glow radius to 212. Set glow intensity to 3. Perfect. If you need more glow you can create duplicate of this glow. Set glow threshold to 68. Now in effects and preset. Search for displacement map, add it to the adjustment layer. For displacement map, change map layer to map. Change horizontal displacement to, luminance. Now at start. Create keyframe for max horizontal displacement, set displacement to, 380. Now at near about 20 frames. Set displacement to, 0. Now at 1 second and 10 frames. Set displacement to, 20. Set vertical displacement to, 0. Now again add displacement map. Set map layer to map. Change horizontal displacement to luminance. Set vertical to, 0. Set horizontal to, minus 10. Here I will hide the extra glow effect. For the timer, in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the timer. Here you can set color of your choice. You can see the preview. Perfect. Here our glitch text and timer animation is ready. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.